Hi, I'm Russ, and this is hopefully the first of many an installment on things that have to do with Daisy's lever guns. I'm a pushover for these le little lever guns. I love them. I like to do a lot of things with them. I have so much fun. Most of the fun we have with these is not in shooting them, but actually working on them. I like to repair them. I like to modify them. I like to improve the way they look. And this is one that I think really needs improving on. This is a 1999 Model DB. And what Daisy has done with this is created in their plastic lever style, a larger loop. And this particular gun has the blue rear and forearm stocks on it. Why they put blue, I have no idea. As far as I'm concerned, that's really in need of some improvement, but this is a brand new gun. Just took it out of the package a little bit ago. They've also made these in pink and they've made them in a beautiful camo effect, like something right out of the forest. The pictures that are on the furniture have a realistic looking floor of the forest effect, leaves, twigs, um, little shrubs, and it's really beautiful. So I started thinking to myself, if I had one of these that I really didn't like the look of, is there anything we can do to change it? With items that you might have laying around the house. And you know what? I think we've hit the jackpot on that. What I was able to do is take this gun and turn it into this. This is a not so beautiful handcrafted camoed full camo effect daisy bb gun it's this gun with the added special touches one of the things that i really like about doing this is if you don't like it you can always change it the gun uh that I started with, of course, needed to be taken down. So I took the rear stock off, the front, the, the front forearm stock off. And if you'll notice on the original gun, it has the forearm ring on it. A few taps with a hammer and that popped right off. And I'm saving that to use on a future project. Then what I did, I took off the loop lever and I took the trigger assembly out. The trigger assembly on this gun happens to be not like the old fashioned daisies that we see so often. This, this one has a self-contained cross bolt safety on it. And it also has its own self-contained return spring. And if you know anything about current model daisies, they have another safety feature inside. And if you can hear this, I'm gonna to try to do it loud enough. there's a little ratcheting effect. That keeps you from being able to pull the trigger and have this slam shut on your fingers. So, whenever you're using a gun like this, it's important not to get anything inside of the trigger that you don't want to gum it up. So that's why I removed the trigger, removed the lever, took the stocks off, and I started painting. Easiest way to do a handcrafted camo effect whenever you have no talent, like myself, is to start off with a base coat. If you can see on the end of the butt, this is the base color I painted everything with. Okay, can you see that? Okay. I did that color all over the entire gun. Then I took some modified tans and yellows and did some splotches on the gun in random effect. Let me get a little closer so you can see that. Okay. To top it all off, what I wanted to do was make it look like it could get lost in the grass. So I took some green paint with an artist brush and just made random streaks on it. Whenever I reassembled everything, it looked just about the way it does now. If you'll notice, 
it's more than just the lever that did not get painted and the trigger assembly. I also didn't paint the rear sight. And I also did not paint the front sight, which is part of the muzzle, which you can see right there. It was also very important not to paint the loading gate because you don't want to gum that up. You want that to be able to work just like it does from the factory. Those are the only parts I didn't bother painting and I was very careful to go around them with my brush. So now this gun is ready to hunt rubber duckies shoot tin cans, and in an upcoming episode, we're going to talk about some of my favorite targets that you can make also. Instead of having a camo job done by those places that dip and do appliques, that can get pretty expensive. If you're talking about a $1,000 or $2,000 um, shotgun that you want to go duck hunting with, it's worth it. But for a little daisy like this, it costs under 50 bucks. It's not worth it. So what you can do is you get a few different colors of paint, use your imagination, a couple of brushes. And when you're all done, you also might want to do what I did and take the components that you painted and put a couple light coats of clear satin finish over it as a wear surface. That's how you take one of these and turn it into one of these. Actually, if you wanted to try this on your own, you're probably going to be better at it than I was, and I was pretty satisfied with this one. Also, in upcoming episodes, I hope to talk about things like modifications that are a little more involved. Maybe taking a 105 buck and turning it into a Henry style rifle or a mare's leg. I have a few others also that we'll show you. That involves changes to the uh, caulking levers, changes to the stocks, and so forth. Hope you enjoyed this one, and there it is, folks. We'll see you again next time.